<laughs> okay, I won't. Pretty sure you could do this today, though. I could. It looks like I did. <laughs> <laughs> you touched those rag quilt pieces for like one minute. I know. I always look like I rolled in the across the floor to clean it up. Right. Ding ding ding! Three people. We have three. Lucky number three. That's fantastic. Three is a lucky number. If you're into that sort of thing. Ah. But what's your favorite number? 18. Okay. What's your favorite number? 73. <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> 73 is a fascinating number. Oh, yeah. Never mind your math geek. Most people pick their birthday. Yeah. That's their favorite number. Yeah, no, 73 is a prime number. It's inverse. 37 is a prime number. 37 is the 12th prime number. 73 is the 21st prime number. It's a palin. 73 is a palindrome in binary. Alrighty then. Hi, Anne. <laughs> With an E. Lucky. Like yes. me. And there's Robin. Oh, there's the other Anne. We could loan her an E. We can. Everybody could have an E. It's silent after all. <laughs> <laughs> right? She could put it on there. And then there's Lo Ann. She's got an E. Oh, Carol. Look at that. Well, Merry Christmas to you guys as well. Happy Hanukkah and Kwanzaa. Don't know all of I don't know all of the uh, holiday celebrations by name, but Happy Winter Solstice. Ooh, that's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Me, me and Michael were waiting for that one with bated breath. He's like, it's okay, hon. It's almost solstice. It's almost solstice. It's been so dark leaving work. I know. Yeah, the first time I leave late and it's still daylight, I usually throw a little party yeah. from the front door to the car. Yeah. So, it is... <laughs> well, Carol, I'm sure we could buy you a we bowel. Could buy, we could buy a bowel. <laughs> Everybody gets an E. That's our Christmas present to all of you. you right. Get an E for the end of your name. Yeah, spare E. Do what you want with it. <laughs> so, it won't, it won't change too many. Yeah. So, like I said, I'll stay for some announcements and then I'll try to drive home. Oh, I hope you guys aren't driving today. It I is went, gnarly in Calgary. I went on three errands and I gave up after doing one. Came back. I'm like, oh, I'm done. Roads are scary. People are mean. It was just too much. I'm like, wow. I let at least four people in front of me. And I nearly got ran off the road by someone else. It's just crazy. People, just are, crazy out there. people are mean. Doesn't take a lot to be kind. Ooh, my book. Oh, there's books lurking. They're yeah. Front. I have a lovely book that we have for sale. It's my favorite book this year. We can be kind. I said there's some people I might have to smack over the head with that. Because <laughs> they, you know, for the most part, everyone's lovely like this group of people. YouTube but, crowd or Facebook crowd. Yeah. A regular. They are regulars. Yeah. They're lovely folks. Some, some of it's just gnarly. Yeah. Hmm. That's not me. So who do you think that is? Ooh. Tyler, are you watching? Oh, it might be Ashley, too. Oh. There's more people that might be lurking. Creeping on us. <laughs> yes, the real we are. Awesome. Usually it's me creeping on I know. you guys. I know. Yeah. Anyway. This is your favorite channel, isn't it? Yeah. I don't, I don't watch anything. I don't watch YouTube videos. I don't follow anyone particularly on Facebook. No. No. Hang out with us. That's all good. Oh, Teresa's is in. Merry Christmas. Yeah. All right. Oh, it's Ashley. Ah, <laughs> ah, ah. Perfect. Uh, so announcements. Uh, Anne and I were talking a little bit earlier today about things coming your way and the big picture. Yeah. Yeah. That the world is wasn't really ready for Black Friday. Just you know, in the in the world of the things that I do listen to and sometimes read business wise a lot of shops um, said their customers just weren't prepared to be out on mass doing the things the Black Friday thing 
uh, and a lot of retailers were counting on that. I, I personally don't count on those. I don't like them. I think it's a commercial hype that we could all live without, but there's certain customers who, who love them and enjoy them. And I'm always up for trying to give our people something lovely, something yeah. nice, something, a little treat for them for supporting us, you know, 365 days of the year. Because yeah. <laughs> uh, sewing used to be inexpensive and no one wanted, you know, handmade things or certainly not a homemade thing. Um, and that used to be for the poorer people. But sewing is not for the faint of heart or people without a wallet. <laughs> Yeah, it's not with the like the rise of like mass production overseas. Sewing is now an art, and yeah, we do it because we love it. Yeah, most of us are doing it because it's a hobby that satisfies a creative part of us, and I love that. I love I love well. That's why you and I like teaching. We like to see everyone's little uh, knowledge light bulb go off, and then yeah. the artistic explosion that can happen after. Totally. Um, that that part cracks me up and I, if i if i could own a store or just teach and i didn't have to pay the rent i would just give it all away <laughs> but we can't <laughs> we have to pay the rent girls um mm. so lee and i were bouncing about uh, we're not really gonna we, we're not open boxing day so uh, we're just going to be open our regular hours for the next week yeah other than the two saturdays we're closed early early both, early both saturdays so that Christmas Eve, in case you got plans, you got so Michael's family usually celebrates Christmas Eve. This year we're not because we're not all going to be here, yeah. so we're going to celebrate later. And um, you know, there's things to do before Christmas Day, so we're closed at two, two. And the one year we closed for Christmas Eve, we had one husband banging at the door. Mm -hmm. Michael and I popped in to pick something up we forgot. We had a husband banging at the door. My wife said you were closed, but I thought she was just trying to make me shop early. <laughs> like, no, dude, we're closed. <laughs> but what do you need? Because you're going to get killed if you don't have something. <laughs> so we let him in. He got his gift. He got out of here. We saved his bacon. <laughs> but our regular hours are closed Sunday, Monday. And that's Christmas and Boxing. So there'll be no Boxing Day promos, specials. And the one time we did that, the lineups were outrageous, and I hate that. Most retailers would relish that, but I feel really bad. It's really stressful. <laughs> well, I don't like making everyone stand in line to wait for things. I, I like people, if they want to spend the whole day here, great. <laughs> but but it's much more enjoyable to be able to shop at your own speed. And I don't like waiting to wait. I could hang out all day, but I hate waiting. Yeah. So we're bouncing around the ideas of what we would like to give you for um, um, Boxing Day in lieu of. So we came up with a plan. You want to tell them? Well, it, if I have permission, I would. If you have permission, you probably would. We're, we're going to have instead of a Boxing Day <laughs> or a Boxing Week sale, which is what most retailers are doing, because uh, we also still care about the health and welfare of our staff and our customers. So we don't want to do anything that has, has us open the door and 100 people rush in. Although most stores would love that. I am not it's, a fan. It, it's cool if you guys trickle in <laughs> all day long. <laughs> yeah. We're, 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 we've decided to have a boxing month. So we're going to go for the entirety of January. Every week, something new. But we're not telling you what till then. <laughs> oh, yeah, Teresa. No one's going anywhere. Yeah. Aww. Mm. So, see, Teresa's made her sewing plans. Good for you. I appreciate you coming and visiting us. Yeah. We're going to we're going to have something different every week. Some of them are going to make uh, our charity quilters especially happy. Yes. And um, if you, I'll give you a hint. If you didn't get the sewing machine that you wanted for Christmas or someone, a younger person in your family might want to start sewing and they didn't get the sewing machine that they were hoping for for Christmas, stay tuned. Yes. I've given Leah some 
I have I, parameters. Parameters. Yeah, that's what I gave you. I gave you, <laughs> yeah. I gave you the parameters for Christmas. Boxing. Boxing in January. No, I gave them to you for Christmas. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so now for the next few days, she has to figure out what that all... That, that's all going to look like for you. And then she has to run it back by me and her parameters and then I'll permission. But yeah. we we have a rough idea what we're going to do for the entire month of January. Because also, a lot of our people are going to be hurting from the Christmas bills. Yeah. January, January can hurt. I hope everyone's over the years has learned their lessons. COVID, I didn't care about 100 gifts. I cared about the 100 people I didn't get to see. Yeah the family and the friends that couldn't move about i'm sorry your your flight got canceled Teresa. uh michael and i usually go away for um christmas we've been going away on christmas vacation but this year i decided to have a staycation and uh oh, i'm so glad <laughs> oh my gosh was all the flight stuff yeah yeah all the flights jamming up all over the place we would have been for sure caught in that yeah um, hi, Belle. And we've got Piggy Newman over here. I know. It's great to see all of you here. Uh, Leah has another little mini class for you, but I thought instead of it looking like Leah's rat fink tattletale who just can't keep her lips together. <laughs> that's like, mostly true some days. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be careful what you tell Leah. <laughs> is, this, is this ready for public knowledge? Not quite. <laughs> I have to have to give you the parameters. Yeah. So that's what we've decided to do. We're going to have some fun promos over the next really five weeks. Yes. And uh, hopefully it, it feels like a little payback for all the people who are sewing gifts and have been quilting and cooking and cleaning for all their family and wrapping gifts and mailing gifts and getting dinner cooked. We picked up our turkey today. A friend of mine... Um, any of you have been here for a catered event? We use uh, Deli, Illichman's Deli. And we ordered our turkey from them for the last while because we can't always get what we want. But we have a 30-pound turkey. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you having for dinner? <laughs> Just a couple of family members. <laughs> Michael and I like leftovers. Uh, uh, Kenny and his wife, Dana, own it. And they, they've they always been very good to us with our catered events. And uh, Michael's uh grew up with a lot of uh german based food and it's a german deli that they own and oh my goodness we went there today and everything that michael used to get in his childhood at christmas was in there nice. and it all went in the basket nice <laughs> they said if you're buying all of that i'm buying these two packs of uh little uh jamaican rum balls my favorite they have the little chocolate cream you know the little sprinkles mm. and they're just tiny but they have powerful punch and mm, some of you might know i lost my taste buds so i'm always looking for strong flavored things so that i get a hint of it yeah. i'm hoping these will do it <laughs> i'm not a fan of rum but i am a fan of chocolate rum balls <laughs> good to know <laughs> So that's what I threw in the basket while we were there. And then some beautiful, um, we got a smoked turkey. Nice. Have you ever had a smoked turkey? I've had turkey a lot of ways. I don't think I've had a smoked one. So this is, you would think you're having a ham, but if you don't eat pork, that's a problem. Yeah. But a smoked turkey is kind the meat is pink, yeah. like a smoked ham is. So good. Yeah. Yeah, so we got a baby one of those. That's just for me and Michael. But we got a, that 30-pound turkey. Kenny came out with it. And the first one, he's like, is this big enough? And we went, he said, it's 20 pounds. We said, no. He said, right, you guys like to eat turkey for weeks on end. <laughs> and we do. So we went back That's and got awesome. the 30-pounder. That's awesome. And as he was leaving, I was yelling, if you don't have a 30 back there, I'll, I'll, t I'll actually take two 20s. That could work, too. They might actually fit in the oven better. <laughs> I, I might have to take... Um, have you ever seen any of uh, Mr. Bean's Christmas turkey specials? It's been a long time. Yeah. yeah. It can, it, the first time we tried to get a big turkey in the oven we currently have, it kind of almost turned into a Mr. Bean Christmas comedy <laughs> special. But Michael's got it figured out now. Nice. So, 
You're going to teach them some stitching, I see. It's all beautifully laid out. Yeah. Yeah, we've got fabric that we cut on Tuesday on the Aki quilt. It's so easy. So, so easy. Awesome. Um, so we're going to show one way of putting these blocks together today. Cool. And another way tomorrow. All right. Because there's more than one way to do just to boat everything in sewing. Pretty much. There's no fight, no point in fighting about it. I've seen, like, crazy fights. Oh, the crazy internet fights of boat sewing things? I know. And at quilt shows, like, <laughs> all you, you gotta wait to see, like, two two people getting crazy over their the last idea. charm pack. Their idea, what, <laughs> well, no, their idea what's right. Yeah. It's you hard. and I approach things very differently, but I always look at what you're doing with interest because I might have learned something. Right? And you don't have to do it my way. I'll explain it. But I do a lot of things her way because it usually works really well. <laughs> like, Just so you know. <laughs> it's what I do. I eat, sleep, breathe, sewing. I yeah. think about everything that we do and then take all of my knowledge and smush it up and come up with what I feel is the best way to get something the nicest way the most professional way in the least amount of time because there's a lot of things to do yeah so well i'm going to leave you to teach in the game yeah. and do a wee bit of sewing today yeah not much it was more important that you got the sneak peek all the all the regulars and then later tonight we'll get all of well, the... there's, there's one more thing we could drop a hint about facebook next week you're going to want to tune in. Yeah. So we are not going on Boxing Day? No. Unless it's a surprise. You'll have to find out. <laughs> um, but yeah, I found something that I think everyone is going to love and enjoy. And bye. <laughs> um, Leah was not sure what she wanted to do next week. And so I gave her an idea what she might want to do next week. Maybe every day I could let you drop a uh, an advance notice for which which week things might be happening in January. Mm -hmm. Which week would be the week for X. someone? Which would be the week for Y? Try not to blow it when you're talking. <laughs> uh. <laughs> but yeah, so we have a we have a special treat next week. And it it falls under the title of what we consider a, a, a gift. It, it's free. Uh, there are a couple little things you have to do to um, play along with us. Yeah. But um, we I know we do a lot of embroidery, and sometimes some of our quilters complain about that a little bit. Um, and they should stop because the embroiderers never complain when we do quilting or sewing stuff. <laughs> right. Stop complaining. Enjoy. Sit back. Relax. Learn something new. Yeah. Otherwise, it's just entertainment. Or watch the, watch the embroidery channel. Well, education without action is entertainment. Yeah. So just sit back and be entertained. <laughs> but next week's uh, little thing has, will appeal to both sides of the spectrum. Yep. Yeah. And... Um, the freeness of it is very short-lived, so get in there next week. Watch us live, watch us recorded, but yeah. um, I think it I think it has mass appeal. Yes. I know that you and I are both in love. Oh, totally. And uh, we'll, we'll share more next week. Yeah. Well, happy stitching. Thank you. And if I don't see some of you beforehand, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. And so weird that we're almost all those 2022. Great, let's not. Well, all those great all my kids holidays. Had, today was the last day of school for my kids for the year. Good thing you have to work tomorrow. It'd be much more fun here. Oh, they're not done shopping. So they probably have to come here tomorrow. <laughs> all right. At least one of them still has to shop for me. As Aww. far as I know. Because they, they have opinions on these things. I love it. First time I met your kids, they were so wee. And the, when they oh, came I, to I Christmas started shopping. here when, like, before Eli was one. And Sarah was just past two. And now they're almost the size of adults. Yeah. Yeah, Sarah's five foot three. Five foot four. She's grown like a weed. She's going to be so tall. <laughs> I don't know who she gets that from. <laughs> we'll, we'll see her later. Have fun.
Let me carry on. Um, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do a tiny little demo for you guys from here. Um, if you check back on Tuesday's video, we cut rag quilt pieces out of cotton, not flannel, but you can do a rag quilt out of either. And I'm just gonna show you real quick the easiest way to attach a couple of them together and start building your rag quilt. So from our, where did my control box go? So from that control box, yeah, got my camera framed out the way I needed it. Um, this is two layers of the same fabric, um, wrong size together. So the easiest way to assemble this rag quilt will be to just sew this with a one inch seam allowance to its next friend. But I would like, uh, I don't know if you noticed, it's super cold in Calgary today. I would like a warmer rag quilt. So I'm gonna add batting to this. And really all I need to do to add batting is get that batting centered inside those raggy bits. And we could use a little bit of 505 spray if you're worried about things shifting. So I'm going to spray this, but just not right on my table because I don't want my table all sticky. Really light spritz there. And then I can put its friend right on top. I could spritz the other side of my batting too in a moment. Make sure all the little raggy bits are sticking out. And the very easiest way from here to get this assembled and keep that batting in place as we move forward, adding our blocks together, is to just sew a lovely little X through this essentially finished quilt square. So I'm going to pop up over onto the other camera, my machine. Uh, this is a Brother NQ900, and the one thing that you'll probably want to have on your machine when you decide to start making rag quilts is a walking foot. Walking foot is going to help manage uh, the bulk that you're feeding through your machine. I actually would like a yeah, So, it's momentarily, not today. Marking pen I want is gone. The rulers are... Hey, could you pass me that ruler that's right on the table there? I'll just flip back to my top camera for a moment. Thank you so much. Okay. No other tools at home. I'm just gonna leave myself a little marked line. You could draw this on or draw this on with an iron away marker. Use a Hera marker. Just something straightforward and easy. And then that walking foot is going to help manage the bulk and help feed it through evenly so it doesn't stretch as you sew. Sewing from corner to corner. Do the same thing down the next corner.
So fancy, fancy little X sewn through that one. We're going to make one more of those. And we'll sew two of them together to show you how to start adding these pieces together. And rag bolts will be a great opportunity to play with some fun variegated thread that's going to blend across all your blocks. We're using a variety of colors. And generally with walking feet, you don't want to go full speed that your machine can go. But a walking foot, uh, brothers move it, digital do a feed foot will all help manage um, all these layers as we get going. So from here, once you start having these rag quilt pieces, then you can start assembling into rows and then uh, your full quilt. We're going to be sewing with a one inch seam allowance through two of those pieces and if you decide you have a right and a wrong side to these um, sandwiches you would pay attention to that as you go but all our seam allowances are going to end up on the ragged side of our quilt and all the um the other side is going to be smooth it doesn't matter which side is which really but when you're looking at your machine um on the brother machines your seam allowance is generally marked from the left hand needle position but we can just check that we're going to be in the right place so if you get a ruler in there my needle is centered in my foot right now so the marking for uh, my one inch seam allowance will be this marking over here generally running from the left needle line it will be this marking here and we're just going to sew sew that seam allowance one inch which is my batting is going to be just inside that line because the batting was uh, cut for that to be accommodated I think that's going to help pull all that bulk through right now our four layers of fabric and just kind of right at the edge of our fabric of our batting in there Do a securing, a couple securing stitches if we wanted. And then our first two pieces are attached. And this, when you start to rag it up, that will be the side that's ragged. So on one side of the rag it's gray, one side it's blue, and the other side is kind of our, our right side or our non-rag side. It's rag quilt. The, the rag side might be the right side. And then we'd start making more of these and attach again using that one inch seam allowance along more of the sides. So quickest, easiest way to move forward through a rag quilt is just sewing those batting layers in um, with that super fancy X. If that's, you just want to get this done quickly, get this out the door, get it under the tree before Christmas, um, this would be the way to go. Um, if you're like me and you love to embellish just a little bit more and make it a little more unique, the other thing you could do is quilt through here um, using, you know, your free motion quilting skills or an embroidered quilting motif. So tomorrow we're going to do an embroidered quilting motif to jazz this up just a little bit. And 
maybe not all, every block needs it. Maybe just one or two need something a little fancier. So stay tuned tomorrow. We're going to embellish another piece of a rag quilt and carry on making our super little mini ice ice baby rag quilt. Um, so that's what I've got for you guys today. Easy, easy, easy sewing. Um, anybody could do it. And really, it's a, it's a great place to start. Because if your seams don't quite match up, you're going to rag all of them at the end anyway. And they're super generous seam allowance. So that's what we've got. Thank you for joining us today. And we'll see you again tomorrow for Rag Quilts Part 3.